Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I'm going to demonstrate how to make this fabric doll. Now if you haven't gotten the pattern yet, the link to get the pattern will be listed below your YouTube screen in the description section. So scroll down to you see the words show more, click on that and it will expand open and it will be the very first link that you will see. The height of this doll from head to toe is about 17 and a half inches. The type of stuffing that I recommend you use is made by Polyfill and it is a craft stuffing. It's a dry stuffing that's made specifically for doll making. I bought mine at Walmart. Not all Walmarts will carry it but you can get it in Joanne Fabrics and Crafts on Amazon.com and a variety of other websites. In your bag of polyfill, you usually will find a stick about like this. It's really, really narrow in diameter. I didn't like how this one worked for doll making. This is a, another dowel that I bought from Walmart. You can get it at Joanne's also. It's normally about a yard long. Mine is about three eighths of an inch and it works a lot better when stuffing the arms and legs. If you're looking for a specific skin tone, maybe you're making it to go along with the person receiving the doll. If you go to Joanne Fabrics and Crafts, they have a section that's all solid colors and they have a variety of shades. You may or may not find the shade that you're looking for, but you can probably find something very close. You'll need about a half a yard of fabric for the body and arms and legs of the doll. And then maybe about a third of the yard for the hair or even get a fat quarter. If you forgot to mark the quantities of the pieces that you need to cut out for each section, I'm going to go over that. So for the hair on the back of the head, you need one piece. For the hair on the front of the head, you'll need one piece. Then the actual head section, you need to cut out two. For the body, the torso area, you'll need to cut out two. And for each arm and each leg, you'll need to cut out four. On your pattern piece for the body, on each piece, you need to transfer the markings that are up near the neck. So you want to just lay your pattern piece over near the edge of your fabric and put the markings and make sure you do it on both pieces on both sides of each piece. The very first step is to put the hair on the head section. So on each head section, take the hair for the back, place it on top, and then do a basting stitch around the head. Then on the part of the hair that will be exposed, then you need to do a satin stitch. Now on here are some samples of a satin stitch. So I went ahead and set my satin stitch for this project. I made the length 0.8 and the width 0.35. So on the face of the doll, you put the other hair piece on. Also do the basting stitch around all edges. Then do the satin stitch on the edges here. Before you do the satin stitch, make sure you put either thin paper or some thin tearaway stabilizer. And when you're done, you just turn it over and go ahead and tear the stabilizer off. Now you're going to attach the head to the body of the doll. So take both pieces, bring them front side down, and then up in the neck area, stitch a one quarter inch wide seam all along there. And I recommend that you either press the neck seam open with your iron or do a good finger press. You're going to do a one quarter inch wide seam. Now down here at the bottom, you want to come in about a half an inch and begin stitching. So stitch across here, up. Here's where the opening is. So back stitch here, skip the opening, 
back stitch and stitch around this way and then back stitch down here because you come to the next opening for the arm then pick up back stitch a little bit stitch down around here and in about a half inch when you are done doing your stitching take small scissors and you want to just do little clips on all of the curved edges after stitching go through your opening down here at the bottom and begin turning it front side out to help you get the head out go ahead and then use one of your sticks that you have and push against the seam to get the head to poke out for each arm you're going to stitch two of your pieces together so do a one quarter inch seam you're going to leave this open up here so stitch along here down and around remember you're making two arms and two legs then take your little scissors again and go ahead and on all of the curved areas here you want to go ahead and do your clips for the legs if you want the fabric on there that gives the impression that the doll has shoes on you want to do that first before you stitch your pieces together so place the shoe pieces down near the bottom and the shoe pattern is on the lower portion of the leg pattern and that will be shown in that other tutorial on how to get your doll pattern going so you place them down there and then do your basting stitch around all the edges then up here at the top edge on both pieces do your satin stitch then bring front sides together line it up now try to line up these where the two pieces of the shoe fabric are lined up properly and then pin everything and then do a one quarter inch seam along here make sure you leave this open and then do your little clips along the edges so this is what your legs and shoe area look like once you have it all stitched together now after you've stitched your arms and legs together then you need to take your polyfill stuffing and begin to put it inside for especially the arms you need to take small pieces break it up a little bit to kind of soften it then insert it into the arm area then take your dowel that you have and push it all the way down to the end so you want to really pack it every time you insert some stuffing pack it in really tight then take some more pack it in until you have it filled now you want to leave at least a half inch on the arm that is not stuffed now I have a little bit too much in there so I'm gonna take it out maybe even a little more but anyway so then once you get that all set then you're gonna close this down and then do a basting stitch across here to close it up you're gonna do the very same thing with both your legs put a little bit of polyfill in at a time really pack it in tight then close this up down here and again leave at least a half inch of it that's not in, that doesn't have any stuffing in it now we're going to stitch the arms to the body and at the opening here's my opening right in here finger press that opening it's going to be much easier to stitch the arm on if you finger press it down now your arms go like this they're going to curve down so they're put in at an angle like that so you're going to open this up and then insert the arm into the doll body i found that the easy easiest way for me to stitch the arms on to where they came out looking nice was to hand stitch so I'm going to use a whip stitch so in case you don't know what that is I'll demonstrate it now so you want to first come up underneath the body fabric the um, I guess you could call it the torso fabric come up underneath that pull it around 
Then grab some of the arm fabric and bring it up. So now once you've come up and around that first time, then go back down and grab your arm fabric again, come back up through the body fabric and come around. And you wanna keep doing this all the way across. Now make your stitches close together, small. So continue going across here. Then when you get all the way down here, turn it over and bring your needle and thread around and then make sure this is underneath then continue on the back side so this is what it should look like when you're done before you stuff the legs you want to make sure you stuff the head then the torso so again break up your polyfill stuffing break it up into small pieces now the, here you can insert a little bit more than we did in the arms and legs. And again, really pack it in tight. Put in some, fill it in, bring in some more, fill it in, and keep packing it in. Now this is the bottom edge of the torso. So as you get closer to the bottom with your polyfill stuffing, reach in and turn these edges in a quarter of an inch and finger press all the way across. Now find the center at the bottom edge and on each side of center go over about a quarter inch and put a pin. So you have about a half inch space in between your two pins. Then you're gonna do a whip stitch to close this center bottom edge together. So then this is what the center would look like. So this is where your whip stitch is in here. Then you're gonna insert the legs and stitch them on just like you did the arms. So right now your doll should look like this. This is the front and then this is the back. Now I'm gonna show you how to make really easy ponytails to put on the doll. So whatever color you used for your hair, try to find yarn that matches it. You can go to Dollar Tree and find some yarn. They have it at Walmart, or not at all Walmarts, but some. You can find it at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts and many other hobby and craft stores. Now I'm gonna use this thicker yarn, but I have used the thinner yarn. So what I'm gonna do is I've cut a piece of cardboard four inches this way. And then I wrapped it around 25 times, okay? If you want a really heavy ponytail, then 25 to 30. If you want a thinner pony ponytail, I would rec recommend about 20. Then once you've done that, then you wanna take your scissors and cut right down through the middle. Now cut another strand of yarn, lay this on top, and then tie this in a knot, and I would go around at least two times tying it in a knot, and then pull it really tight, as tight as you can, and then go around one more time. So after you've got it tied, then just go ahead and fold it in half, and here is where my knot is where I tied it. Then you're gonna decide where you want it on the head. I put mine, oh, just maybe an inch and a half below the top of the head, or you can put it up higher, you can put it anywhere you want. Then you're gonna take needle and thread and just keep going round and round. You're gonna grab up inside of the center here where you've knotted your fabric or your, you've knotted your yarn and that's where your point of contact will be to the head. So you wanna just keep going round and round. Now, if you don't like the way your stitches look, it's not a problem, because I recommend you just put little bows and cover it up. And these bows are just wrapped around the ponytail. So you can use, I'm using about 5 8 inch wide ribbon. 
Because I consider this doll a beginner's doll pattern, I didn't want to give you elaborate embroidery stitches to put on a really pretty face. So what I'm going to recommend for those of you is to use small buttons. Now you can hot glue them on or you can hand stitch the buttons on. So find some little buttons for your eyes and you want to just place them up there. Don't glue or stitch them on just yet. Decide how you want them to be. I'm using a pink button for lips and then take a pencil, put them aside, put a little dot right there so that you don't forget where you had them. And then go ahead and either hot glue or hand stitch them on. Now part three of my doll series will be to make a dress like this. So it just has dolman sleeves, it's got a high waisted uh, waistline up here, it's a gathered skirt, and it'll, I'll just show you how to make the basic dress. Then it's up to you if you want to put elastic at the edge of the sleeves down here, or if you want to leave them flared. I've also put rickrack on the bottom, and then I'll show you how to make these bloomers, aren't they cute? And you can put trim on this too. You can put ruffles on the dress. You can do whatever you like. Also, when you're making your doll, sorry, I'm moving around so much. If you want it, the doll to look like it's got tights on, you could select a different type of fabric that doesn't match the skin and make your legs out of that fabric. That's a lot of fun. So I consider this my little Christmas doll. It's really, really cheery. So you can make them with a theme or just very generic. It's really up to you. If you're interested in other styles of dolls, I have one more doll tutorial that I've made and it's making this one here. This was not a pattern I designed. I purchased it and it was from, I believe, a Simplicity pattern book. So the link to this tutorial will be down below your YouTube screen. It's a much more detailed doll. I don't recommend it if you're a beginner, but if you've already got a lot of sewing experience, I'm sure you could tackle this doll. It even comes with the clothing that goes with it, and it shows you different styles of shoes that you can make. So check that tutorial out. I think you'll find it very interesting. Now, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny, and this is Scotty. See you next time.